Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix stop code page fault in non paged area on Windows 11 and Windows 10. Page is known as page file, and page file is a Windows memory management technology. And page fault in non paged area is a blue screen error. Basically, this can occur when Windows fail to read or write super page data on a certain part of your hard disk due to physical memory shortage and also it can happen because of fragmented files on your hard disk. However, here I will show you 5 fixes that can surely help to fix stop code page fault in non-paged area BSOD error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. At first, try to restart your computer by pressing the restart button. And if you are a laptop user, then you can use the power button to restart your system. After restarting, if you are still getting this error, then turn off your PC by pressing and hold down the power button. After that, press the power button to turn your PC back on and be ready to press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard. And don't release the shift key until the user visuals to appears. This is a temporary solution which you can apply on some certain stop error in Windows operating system. But you can't apply it on all Windows stop errors. However, this might take some time, so please keep patience. If not working, hold down the power button to turn off your PC. Then power it on. Do this for 3 times to boot into Windows recovery mode. After that, click on advanced option. Next, click on troubleshoot. Next, advanced option. Now, click on startup settings. After that, click on restart. Now, press 9 to disable the automatic restart after system failure. Once your computer is turned on to permanent solution, go to Advanced System Settings. Under Advanced tab, click on Performance Settings. Then go to Advanced tab. Now click Change button under Virtual Memory. After that, uncheck this box, Automatic Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Now choose the option system managed size and click set button. Once done, click on OK to apply the changes. This method usually resolves the issues, so restart your PC and check if your PC still crashes with the same error code. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help to fix the problem. If not solved, then go to Advanced System Settings. Click on Startup and Recovery Settings button. Now uncheck these two boxes under System Failure. Now click on OK and OK. After that restart your computer to check if the problem is solved or not. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help to fix the problem. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Try this method if you are an HDD user and if you are an SSD user then try next method. First go to Windows search and search for defragment and optimized drive. Now select all the drives including the system partition. After that click on analyze. After analyzing if you see any fragmented files then click on optimize. 
This process might take several minutes, so please keep patience. After that, restart your computer to check if the problem is solved or not. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help to fix the problem. First, download and install the SSD management utility from your SSD manufacturer website, such as Samsung Magician for Samsung SSD drives, Seagate C Tools for Seagate SSD drives, and REST and Digital SSD dashboard, which is specially made for WD's SSD drives. Here, I am going to optimize my Samsung NVMe M.2 SSD, so I will be using Samsung Magician. After opening the Samsung Magician, go to Performance Optimization. After that, enable the Trim option for your Samsung SSD. Now, you can run Trim Scan from Windows Defragment and Optimize Drive Utility after enabling the Trim feature from SSD Management Utility. If you have WD SSD, then open the WD Dashboard SSD Management Utility. After that, go to Performance tab. Now, enable Windows Stream and click Run Windows Stream Scan. Once done, just restart once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, check the memory problem. If something is wrong with your physical memory, I mean RAM, go to Windows Search and open the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool to scan and fix the memory errors. Click on Restart now and check for problems, which is recommended option. Now, your PC will be reboot and it will check the memory modules for errors. This might take several minutes to scan and fix the problem, so keep patience. After the scan is completed, your PC will be reboot and it will display the detected problem on the screen if found any memory modules error and after that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, then try to restore the system health by using Windows Recovery Media or bootable USB drive. The tutorial link in the description below. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.